Hi, here's a quick follow-up to my review of the MV1. Roland just released a new version of the ZenBeats software for Windows, Mac, iPads, iPhones, and even Android devices. It now has a new mode, which essentially turns it into a screen for the MV1. You don't need a subscription to Roland Cloud for this. This new icon appears when the MV1 is connected to your iPad or computer. You press it, they sync up, takes a few seconds. And now this basically turns into a screen for your MV1. Now to be clear, this doesn't transfer your project to your iPad or your computer. Rather, this literally behaves like a screen for whatever is going on here. So for example, if I press play on this section, then section five of the song gets played, then section six, and yeah, you need to be careful when you scroll around, but you can move around to any section you like. And you can also play individual clips. You can't launch two different clips from two different sections, so it's not a freeform Ableton Live style grid entirely, but you can play entire sections or individual clips from different sections. Now this clip and section preview functionality isn't that big of a deal. You had that before, you just had to press the section pad. You can preview clips, of course, as well. You can copy and paste stuff here, and it's pretty easy to copy and paste clips and sections here. So what is, I think, a big deal are two other things. First, there's the mixer view. Now, when you play sections, you don't see level meters for what's going on, but you can control levels for the different tracks, as well as sends and pans. Now, like everything else in this app, you could do all of this on the MV1 itself. You just had to page through menus to get there. So all these parameters are accessible. Delay and reverb sends, for example. It's just nicer to be able to see and control everything here on one screen. But the most important part of this update, I think, is the ability to see multiple parameters on screen at once, which is particularly useful for the different multi-effects or compressor or five band EQs, because as you can see, there are quite a few parameters here it's much easier to be able to see everything here at once and change everything at once as opposed to going through the different menus and parameters one by one. Aside from editing parameters for all the different mastering functions, limiter of five band EQ we saw, the multi-band compressor, not easy to page through this item by item. So a huge addition here. Same goes for the multi-effects. There are 90 of these. Scrolling isn't that natural. So it's not native to iOS, but it works. Anyway, once you pick an effect, you can edit its parameters on screen. Each of these 90 different master effects or multi effects has multiple parameters and they're different based on the, um, the effect you choose. So let's say go into the OD delay, completely different parameter set. Let's look at just one more. Again, completely different parameter set, sometimes more, sometimes less but it's much more useful to see things like this, again, as opposed to paging through these item by item. So same exact parameters, just uh, immediate access if you want it. And when you change a parameter here, it changes on the iPad and vice versa, which is cool. This also applies to the tone parameters. So say if I double tap this, I'll be able to access all the tone parameters for each individual clip, these change by the way per clip, including the multi effects, which you can change on a per clip basis. Then you've got general mix controls. So you can create full songs with the MV1. You don't need an iPad or external screen. And I showed how to do that in the previous video, but certainly having this option, if you've got even a phone around and certainly an iPad, old ones work as well, is a very useful addition to this interface. Now the integration, however, isn't complete. While you do see sections, and clips, you don't hear the vocals while they're playing back when you're triggering them through here. You can go into song mode and then trigger the song with vocals that way. And there's no timeline view of the vocals as they're aligned next to the sections, but you can bring up the mixer, including in full screen mode, and um, mix your music, not the vocals though. So there's no arranger style view to realign your vocal takes or to edit any of the vocals, trim them and so on. You can just control your mix alongside the vocals, at least not yet.
you also can't edit any of the parameters for the vocal processor or any of the vocal compressors. So it seems like that element isn't implemented yet, but there's promise of new versions. So hopefully we'll get that in the future. All that said, this is a great step in the right direction if you felt that this two line screen was limiting. And it is, like I mentioned earlier, a breath of fresh air as far as the mastering parameters are concerned. I could do fine with the tone parameters here, but I think that dealing with all of the abundance of parameters here is way better on a screen like this. You can also record outgoing audio over USB from the MV1 into Zen Beats like you can into any other DAW. It's stereo outputs for the class compliant driver for Android or iPad devices, and you've got full multi-track outputs if you use the Zen Beats software on your computer as you can any other DAW. So that's it for the quick addendum to my full review of the MV1. I'll link to it below. Thanks for watching.